How to use ASP.NET Web Forms in Visual Studio 2022? Most likely you're working on a relatively old web application that needs some maintenance. And fortunately, there's no need to install an older version of Visual Studio. So you can just do this in the 2022. Just as a quick reminder, Web Forms is based on the legacy .NET framework, it means your application is only gonna work on a Windows operating system. Now, when starting a brand new application, um, developers should really be using a more modern .NET and uh, more modern front-end technologies. So Web Forms is really just a, a legacy uh, framework. To use Web Forms, you're going to need the full Visual Studio IDE, meaning that if you're gonna try and, and do new projects or edit uh, projects in Visual Studio code, things might get uh, very tricky. So to install Visual Studio, we can just go onto the uh, website, uh, get the free edition, that should also be fine, and just get started with the installation process. If this is a completely new installation, or you're not familiar with the full IDE of Visual Studio, just be aware that it tries to cater for all types of development, and it's not just for doing web applications. And it's really trying to do everything, like a whole lot of uh, pro different programming languages for gaming, for mobile. So you might be overwhelmed with, with all the options that you, you have to uh, select. So under the installer, there are specific workloads that you will going to have to select after the initial installation. To use web forms, we are going to have to go under the modifier section. And for starters, under the workloads, make sure that the ASP.NET and web development is selected. So this should be uh, the, you know, the bare minimum that you should select. And then on top of this, we're gonna to have to go under individual components. And here, you know, there are quite a lot of options and some of them should already be pre-selected because you've selected the web development workload. But for web forms, at the very least, you have to make sure that 4.8.1 uh, .NET Framework, everything under this, this version of, of the .NET Framework is selected. Now, it's also very important that, that you select the following, ASP.NET Features, .NET Framework Project and Item Templates, .NET SDK. I take it that there's gonna be more development other than just web forms. So you're gonna also have to make sure that you've selected the relative components. For example, you know, if you're gonna be working with a database as well, that's a pretty, pretty common workflow. So all of these other options have also gotta be selected. Once everything is installed, we're gonna just create a sample project. So we now have to open Visual Studio, create a new project. There are gonna be a lot of templates uh, depending on the different uh, workloads that, that are installed. To quickly find the web forms template, we can filter by just typing in web forms, and then we're gonna get a template, uh, ASP.NET Web Applications.NET Framework. Um, just note this .NET Framework, and it's also highlighted uh, corresponding to the web forms filter keywords that we used. We can proceed by just giving the project a name, and then on this page, once again, just make sure that Web Forms is selected. There are a whole lot of other projects here, but just uh, select the Web Forms one. So now this is gonna be a brand new uh, project for a web application. And in practice today, most people are just gonna be opening an existing project for maintenance or to add new features. And as a quick reminder of why ASP.NET Web Forms was very helpful, the main benefit is that it's very simple. Um, it's uh, mostly page and event driven, which are very, very, very intuitive. As an example, let's add a new page for creating a product. This new page will be based on a master page that already exists with a template. So right click and add new page based on a master page. Web Forms has a lot of controls that can be dragged and dropped onto the page. For very quick development or creating a, a web application, you don't really need to know a lot of uh, actual HTML. And on this form, we can go to the code behind and set a breakpoint, press run, and then we can go to the browser, enter the details. And without actually having to know much HTML or front-end skills, we have ourselves a very, very basic form. 
ASP.NET Web Forms is very, 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 very useful if you're doing backend or non-public uh, facing web applications. I mean, in this instance, the UI is not really a priority. So for something that's admin, um, even today, you can, you can just create a, a full-on application. But again, keeping in mind, you're going to be stuck on the, uh, the old .NET framework. So that's how we can use ASP.NET Web Forms in Visual Studio 2022. The main thing to remember is to install the correct components. Under the Visual Studio installer, make sure to have, at the very least, all the options for .NET Framework 4.8. And then also make sure that ASP.NET Features, .NET Framework, Project and Item Templates, and the .NET SDK are all selected.